Hello and welcome to another video of Archons Only where we try to beat Genshin Impact using only Archon characters. So as I mentioned in my previous video, I think I'm going to start using our resting to try to get some farming pre-done for Shang Li whenever he's going to rerun. Um, that main reason of doing this is because I don't have any other goals to farm for, so maybe that could be helpful. So what I'm doing here is try to get the books that we know which books does he need, so that's why I'm farming here in this domain. As you can see, it's really simple with the archons that we have, so that's going to be really easy to farm. So once I uh, finish with them, we can start to think of other archons, especially Mawika, although we don't know what she's going to require, but the um, book domain in Natland is already available, so I think it would be farming for all of them and hope for the best. Another thing that I'm also trying to farm during this time is trying to get some artifacts for Shongli, and I know that Tenacity of the Millilith is one of the recommended sets for him because he can boost the attack of the different shielded characters if I'm not wrong, um, so, and also it's a HP, um, HP set. So what I guess I'm going to do is try to farm for these um, artifacts and see if we can get uh, a build at some point. <laughs> Ideally, I think the easy one would be to get HP, 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 and then Flower and Feather. And I think those stats are kind of like easy to get because that's something that you don't want. But if you have any other suggestions, please let me know. So that's something we can actually um, work for. Maybe we can have crazy builds for them or different artifacts that you can think that are going to benefit my account. So that could be a good idea. So here are the ones I got after farming for a while. So we were able to get, well, a flower, a feather, and nothing else. <laughs> um, let's see if we can use the strong box. It's been a while since I used it, so um, I hope we have a lot of artifacts, like five-star artifacts, because I haven't um, used them for a lot. I haven't built any character for a, a long time, especially artifact-wise, so probably everything that we got is from the... Ooh, this is a Geo. So everything that we got was from uh, <laughs> previous builds, basically, or even um, the weekly bosses that we never used, so or even the, the um, Spiral Abyss, so that could be a, a reason. Oh, I choose the wrong set. Oh my god, so many of them in the wrong set. Wow, okay, let's, let's use them and see if we get something useful. Oh, that's a lot of loss. That sucks. That's because I was not paying attention. Oh, let's hope for the best. Come on. We need HP. Okay, HP Goblet. Come on, Sans. HP Sans. Okay, I think we got a set. Defense, HP, and we have a Geo one, so... We can choose whatever we want. I think it's going to be HP. And then HP in the sands. We can need better feather. HP flower. And for the circlet. Do we have any HP being built? Oh, we do. Perfect. I think that was Furina's one in the beginning. <laughs> Okay, great. So I think we have a set. Um, we might need to upgrade it to level 20. <laughs> All of them, that's going to take a while. I don't think I have enough. But we can see what the, the substats are going to be. I don't think we need any crazy substats. Maybe energy recharge could be good for the having the ultimate more often. Here we have energy recharge, so... Um, yeah, that's something we don't need. Defense, but well, that's double HP, HP, and this one we got HP, so that's the only thing we want. Critical rate, okay, good. So, if you think of other sets that we can use, please let me know, that would be uh, interesting to do. And as I also mentioned in my previous video, something I'm going to start doing is doing all the Sumeru quests, and there are a lot of them, and they're so long, and they contain nothing interesting. So, basically. I did them, and you're going to see only few parts of them, especially when they're interesting things. 
I show this part because it's the first time that we see Nahida. Although she's in our account, it is the first time that we see Nahida in real life. <laughs> but yeah, there is not much into much to say, much to do. Um, I think this is one of the quests that we should do uh, in order to reivindicate Nahida um, in the uh, Sumeru Desert. But uh, you can tell everything was story and a lot of dialogue and repeating the same thing over and over again. I think I hate Sumeru, our conquest. Um, and if I can avoid it as much as I can, like we did in here, because we, we actually avoid it, um, I think I will continue to do that, especially for Fatui only. But we don't have Dendro, so that's going to be a problem. So maybe I can avoid doing that until we get a Dendro character. We will see. I hope like Dotori is a Dendro character. I don't know which other Fatuis are with different um, elements, so it's something we can see um, in the future, I would say. I don't know if they actually do it on purpose, try to make the Archon story quest even longer for every different uh, region. I know that Sumer was one of the largest and then was um, overpassed by Fontaine. So if after Sumeru we need to do Fontaine, it's going to be again doing long quests for a really long time. So I might need to have a, a, a weekend just to do <laughs> Fontaine story quests and do nothing else. Um, <laughs> but we will see if that's going to be possible or not. So for now, I think we need to hope for the best and, and try to do this. Um, there was a lot of nonsense, um, like you need to think much, um, you need to like spam A <laughs> um, and continue um, with the game, but um, I don't know if this is going to be the whole thing in Fontaine, I know you have to do some things, um, especially during the trial, so we will see what happens, um, but at least in, in Sumeru there is not much brain capacity required. Well, no, there is. There is some parts where you need to choose, um, use some clues and connect some idea, ideas. Um, but I don't know. I don't think it's it's that difficult. So, yeah. I hope there is some fighting involved. I know at some point we need to defeat or fight um, Skaramouche. So then that, that would be fun. Um, because it means, uh, although we did this boss a lot of times to get, I think it was Nahida's. <laughs> essential materials um, we can actually unlock it to actually do it right now um, to do it like in the real way and not using the, the fast track that we used before um, but yeah um, that's going to be fun to fight him again and then I don't think there is anything interesting after that we have a, um, a brief meeting with Dotori where we negotiate with him or at least Nahida negotiated with him um, we go to the Irmen Soul to see the other part of Nahida. So there are a lot of like big mo moments that are really interesting. I don't know if I'm going to show them, um, especially if it's a lot of dialogue, like I don't think I'm going to show them. Maybe I'm going to steal some of the the different um, moments to get some thumbnails or things like that, but probably I'm not going to, <laughs> to use them and show them. So um, yeah, you can go, especially like no spoilers, I guess, but uh, <laughs> Um, I, I don't want to bother you or bore you in this um, quest. I think this is already not much, not many action uh, going on, especially like you can see we're doing this domain and this domain is a lot of like exploring and do small puzzles and not much fighting or, or do fun things or, or things that we require to use specific elements or things like that. So yeah, I think um, although the Sumeru arc is one of the longest ones, I don't think we're, you're going to see many videos of that. Maybe when we explore the desert, if we decide to do that at some point, that would be more fun because um, we need to go to different places, we need to defeat in enemies, we need to use some elements. Maybe once we get Pyro, we can do that because I think you need to li light up some torches, if I'm not wrong. So we cannot do that with the characters that we have unless we can swirl it. So yeah, that's something we can actually try to do. Um, but for now, I think this is our <laughs> our goal and try to do Sumeru as much as we can um, so we can actually move to another region. I'm really interested in moving to Fontaine, especially because I never did Fontaine Archon Quest in any of my accounts. I did Sumeru in different ones, um, but never I did Fontaine. Besides being really long, I think I really like uh, Nahida's Archon Quest because you feel sorry about her and everything that happened to her. 
and in the end you understand where she comes from that she's not as weak as she looks like that she's um, although she's like um really young or small um archon she's really powerful and she knows what she's doing and i feel like she's one of the most pure-hearted uh, archons in the whole um the whole story until now um so yeah i feel like um they did a good thing trying to build up this this idea of a uh, an archon it's so sad how she's treated especially during her <laughs> Um, birthday animation. I think that's one of the saddest part or, or saddest things of all times. Oh my god, <laughs> we're able to go through the platform. I thought we we're going to be crushed. Um, so I was saying that I really like her her story. How how they managed everything. How they did everything. So I feel like it was um, a good idea overall. A little bit crazy on knowledge and what it could be and what it could means, but. In the end, um, I think it was a good representation of, of every craziness that happened with like a lot of knowledge and a lot of power. Like everything that happened with trying to search for knowledge could also go really, really bad. Um, and I think that's what they show in <laughs> here and trying to create a god from, from nothing because they didn't like the god they have. Um, it was insane. But I feel like in the end, it's a good story for, for a nation or... Um, for everything, so I'm happy with it. Although it's too long, I think like they could reduce it so much. They don't need to make you re revive the same day over and over again. I think that was an overstatement. I think that they could avoid that, and it could be they could do much <laughs> um, in that time. Um, so I feel that that was like unnecessary at any point. A lot of talking, a lot of doing the same thing over and over again. Um, I feel like, no, that was something that they could easily avoid. Um, I want to know what you think about um, Sumeru's Argon Quest and Sumeru's in general. I heard that they were saying they were not going to make a map that's going to be bigger than, than Sumeru. I think that they learned their lesson to having the crazy desert um, being that big. Um, I think that was a huge mistake, especially for people like me, for example, I haven't done the desert yet in this account. And I don't want to do it, especially I don't want to do it 100%. So I might try to do as much as I can, but I'm not going to put all the effort into actually doing everything um, like I did in my main account. So I feel like they learned the lesson, especially with this idea that um, different players don't have much time to, to play and trying to do less things to, to focus on. I think that's... A, that's that's the way that things work these days. People don't have much time, people don't have much attention span. <laughs> and, and trying to be in this game for a long time, I think that's something that they never intended because um, we have limited pressing, limited things that we can do every day. So um, I feel it's more of a casual player thing. Maybe when you get an update or an event, that's when you do them. But um, now they're even giving you a lot of time to do the events, even like the, the Archon Quest they give you a whole patch to actually do it. So I have to say that like, they're thinking on more of the casual players than like the intense people playing. So yeah, I feel like they le learned their lesson. And I'm, I'm happy with that because I don't have much time to play. Although that means we had less primogens, for example. Um, I think that in the end, um, I would prefer that to the fear of missing out. Especially, for example, when I'm not able to play due to um, I'm traveling or doing other stuff, um, I feel that those promises are never going to get back. And, and I miss some events and I don't have... Uh, you, you can see that I miss some events and I'm never showing them because I never play them. So those not only are primogens are lost, they're also like weapons are lost, maybe some crowns are lost and some other um, real benefits that you get books um characters sometimes skins etc etc but um usually they're not going to be archon so <laughs> i don't care much about that but yeah um, i feel like i'm happy that they're not making big maps anymore and they're trying to to focus more on on the playability of the different regions and i have to say this is one of the most beautiful cinematics that they have although it's like 2d and just like hand drawn I think it's really interesting how um, 
everything looks like I really like the idea of like Sumeru desert and um, the Dendro Archon being like contrasting like sand yellow and hair being like plant green etc I feel that this explains a lot um, this is a really good part of the story and I feel like this is the way that the the sand people or the desert people um, were blaming the Archon while the Archon actually was really nice and tried to help them and that's why they lose most of the power and she becomes a small Archon so see these this small stories are telling you that they always um, mistreated Nahida and I feel so bad for her because like she gave, well not Nahida, the previous Archon before her um, she was able to sacrifice everything for their people and that's something that not every Archon does especially if you, if you think about like um, Inazuma, the Archon was <laughs> was sacrificing people for her goal of eternity where in here like she's really committed to the people and try to, to, to help them as much as they can and try to sacrifice herself even for the Irmin soul so I feel like this is uh, a pure heart uh, Archon um, and I hope the best for her I feel like she's really really smart and she's really well she can handle a lot of things in a smart way so I feel that's also why they love the, the previous Archon um, and they don't like much this new one because they feel like she's weak and she's new and she doesn't know how to do things. So um, there is a, lot, a big um, steps to feel basically or shoes to feel with this um, new small Archon. So here it is where she loses all the powers and she becomes small. I wonder if Nahir is going to grow at some point. That would be <laughs> kind of fun to see. Um, I don't think it's going to be real because like her model is a small Archon so unless we get like a time jump or something like that I don't think she's going to to change but that would be something that I would be happy to see um, if we can actually see her as a as a grown up <laughs> Archon or she can shape, change her shape or something like that but in the end we will not have the small character Archon because until now we have a a uh, big man, a big woman, we have a strong uh, Claymore character, we have a Chibi, uh, it's uh, Nahida, and we have Benti as a small man, so I think, ah, uh, we have a small female, that it's Furina, so I think we have everything, we need, we are missing a Chibi man that we're not going to get, um, and maybe a, a muscular man, but we're not going to get that either, so I guess that's everything we have with the Archons. And this is the right part when we're trying to awaken Nahida and release her from her prison. So I think this is um, another key moment. I'm not going to show everything because it's too much. But um, I think this is the, the beginning of the end of the academia and all the evil plans that they have. So yeah, she's finally free. So we can start helping her. And I think this is one of the perfect moments to finish the video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share if you really like it. And I see you in the next one. Bye bye.